Okay, so after uh, recording Demo World once and then uh, recording it a second time because I didn't like how the first one came out and then not keeping the second one because I didn't like how that one came out because I had to admit that I was doing it a second time and that it wasn't my first time through it. And then recording this game and having to uh, stop after about eight minutes so I could get yelled at and then now recording it a second time, we're finally ready to, ready to make some progress, I think. Maybe, probably not. Anyway, a mumbo spell here is uh, by breaking the laws of physics and somehow making the water have air in it. He says that it has oxygen in it. Last time I checked, water has oxygen in it anyway. Doesn't mean you can breathe it. Wouldn't a better spell just be giving them gills or something? I don't know. Whatever. It works. Let's just get out of here. Uh, yeah, this one. I don't want to bother going by tip top. It's a waste of time. Cheetos or Pono's Emporium, whatever it's called. Anyway, he's got a um bagel. Yeah, he's got a bagel now. Nobody would want it except for us, but whatever, we gotta pay five doubloons for it. And then this happens again. Uh, sorry, I love that. And we get that, and then we're on our merry way. Last time I recorded this segment, it took me about five minutes to get this far. I don't know why. Anyway, before we head into Jollies, there's one more thing we gotta do. So, head up on the... Do that, yeah. Head up on the roof. And do this. Anyway, there's just a couple things you can get by shimmying across the crack. Such as this delightful empty honeycomb piece, which I will never use and a sign with a worthless hint on it that just tells you that, basically. I know that it's a hint towards breaking open the wall in Mumbo's skull, but it, it's... I don't know. It, I hate it. It makes me angry! It's a stupid hint. I have no valid complaints today. I'm, like, totally burned. Don't know how I'm gonna do a Victip's adventure after this. So anyway, this is just a brief glimpse into Grunty Industries. We've stopped the feces from pouring into the pool. So now it's crystal clear, apparently. I don't know. Uh, over here, another contender for last jiggy of the game. Unless you uh, do a glitch that lets you get it earlier, which I'll probably be doing. Oh, hey, look, it's the white Jinjo again. You can't fool me. I already got the white one. Well, let's get out of here. There's nothing else in this place except for a sludge that I don't want to be walking around in. But yeah, um, that solves the balloon problem, but I've got a bigger problem. You don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Balloon <laughs> has <laughs> enough <laughs> air. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. That had nothing to do with anything. Yeah, you still gotta get it warmer, which takes an improbably long time to do. So, let's just head into Jolly's. Cause some more property damage. Which you don't really need to do, but whatever. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I like blowing huge holes in the side of walls. And, because people want it, here's the menu. Salty dumplings, toad in the hole. And Seaman Surprise. It's everybody as, as dirty as you want it to be. By which I mean it it's very dirty, because I'm sure all of you are going to read into it that way. Anyway, here is the most useless character in the game, which thus makes him the most important character in the game, according to theorists. Uh, he has no real purpose at all. But the fact is, he's surrounded by suspicious-looking paintings showing the pink stop and swap egg and the shark food island from the first game. So, like, 
Anyway, he gives you a couple doubloons, which you don't need, which is exactly why he's useless. And he had a dream once, and a bear stole his glory. And what else? He was in this fine game. He just rambles that stuff, and you can never get a, get these things open either. They're just there to confound you. So anyway, yeah, people thought that there was some deeper significance to him. There totally isn't. This guy... I've got no words for this guy. He pretty much speaks for himself. And by speak, I mean going, old, 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 old. He, he just is the most fabulous character ever. Anyway, his partner got swallowed by a giant fish. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, pay for the room and then immediately just blow up the door, which I could have done in the first place. But I wanted to show that even if you do all the optional payments, you'll still have those two doubloons left. And doing this, you can learn the sub-aqua A-gaming, which is every bit as useless as it sounds. Because it's exactly the same as aerial A-gaming, which is in itself exactly the same as regular A-gaming. Whatever. Yeah, you go, girlfriend. I have nothing to say about him because I can't make gay jokes. Like, I, not, I don't have anything creative to say. Anyway, let's finally head down into the lagoon. And I'm going to do most of the swimming in this in first person, most likely, because... Uh, okay, maybe not. It won't let me hold A and B and up, which makes you go down. So swimming quickly and downwards is not really an option for me here. Anyway, uh... Shoot these thingies in the eye, and you can get notes. Hooray. Uh, this one just has eggs, I think. Yeah, just egg. What else is here? More notes. Hit it! Come on. There we go. Over here is a UFO, which I can't do anything with in the mo at the moment, but I will be able to shortly. I thought there was another... One of these plants somewhere that had the trouble clef in it. Maybe, I guess that's in a different room. Yeah, swim straight into it, why don't you? And, uh, there's two different ways you can go here. I don't think this is the way I want to go, but it's really hard to tell. Where is that other way out? Is it over here? Okay, that's the one I don't want to go in, because that's the narrow one. Never mind. So anyways, let's break out the ice eggs and actually do something useful with them by freezing the octopus. Because unlike Echo the Dolphin, the trick here isn't to swim past slowly. You can either swim past very quickly, or you can freeze it. And we have arrived in Atlantis. Who knew that Atlantis was part of the Isle of Hags? Anyway, let's, uh... There's a bunch of places you can go here. I don't really have an order figured out. I'm just gonna kinda wing it. Anyway, there's the treble clef. That's probably the last of the notes for this level. I don't really know. There might be a couple more. Yeah, there they are right there. So, let's activate the warp pad and do all of this in first person, because I like it better that way. Let's turn off the aiming. There's a... No, I don't want to go in there. There's like a little opening in the side of this somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Has the empty honeycomb. And let's see. It's probably hard to tell where I'm going, because it's just the really awkward way that I'm swimming around here. Kind of, like, um... Ah, but, uh, uh, Juking the camera all over the place. That's the word I was looking for. So, anyway, um... Let's just open up this door. Let's see, the pattern here is... I don't know my Greek letters, but it's pi... Staircase, Omega, Staircase, Triangle, Triangle. Triangle's Delta, but anyway. Pi. 
Don't know what the staircase is. I'm gonna guess Epsilon, who knows. Well, a lot of people know, but not me. Okay, then the staircase one was over here. Then, what was it? Uh, Omega Horseshoe, whatever you want to call it. Get up. Then the staircase, and then two triangles. That didn't hit. Okay, hey, you gotta listen for the little bling noise. Aiming is not my strong suit, I guess. Anyways, now that that's open, I can head in there. Which I will do next time, because I'm out of time, so...